After experiencing a back problem in 2009, Horst Rospen decided to see his doctor about what he needed to do to correct the pain. He also thought this would be a good time to schedule himself for a physical checkup. I had this physical done and uh, a week later I get a call that my PSA was 32.8 and my doctor tells me that Dr. Bear actually uh, told me that uh, normal for my age would be around four. Once I found out that I had a PSA at 32.8, you're on the computer, you're looking to see what potentially uh, that all means. Uh, I was also told that my prostate was about three times the size of normal. And you know, you hear about guys having enlarged prostate and urinary problems and that kind of stuff, and I, I hadn't experienced any of that. His doctor then suggested the next course of action would be for Horst to see a urologist, and the next week he had his appointment. It was decided that they needed to do a biopsy at that time to best determine if there was cancer present in the prostate. And after an extremely long week of waiting for the results of the biopsy, Horst was given the news that he indeed did have prostate cancer. And then you try to determine what the best course of action is for the cancer. Uh, in my case, we went through a few different scenarios and my choice was finally just to have my prostate removed. And I had that done in July of 2009. It wasn't smooth sailing for Horst after the surgery. His PSA levels were still high three months later, and six weeks after that he was tested again, and his PSA level had doubled during that time. It was then recommended that Horst have radiation therapy. He chose Jenny Edmondson Hospital for the procedure. I had that done in January of 2010. 39 radiation treatments every morning, 7.15. Uh, and the girls up there kept me awake, let's put it that way. They woke me up every day, Barb and, and Lori and Michelle. All, what a pleasant bunch of women to work with and or that maybe they, they felt they were working with me I don't know. Today horse PSA levels have become non-detectable but that doesn't mean there isn't any concern to his family and friends. I, I think you know your family every you know you I find my kids dad they're all concerned you know the what's going on uh, How's your PSA? Have you had a PSA lately? What's the status? I, I, you know, I find the kids are real concerned. The wife is, you know, and uh, and friends and family. So, you know, that support is always there. Now, as people begin to learn about his battle with prostate cancer and his treatments, Horst is often asked to give advice based on his experience. He says there are many questions out there, and he always tries to be helpful when asked about his cancer. You know, the thing about prostate cancer is if it's caught early, there's a lot of different treatments, and those treatments are going to be determined by you and your doctor. You know, uh, if you wait as long as I did, you're limited with the treatments that you're going to receive and so therefore you put yourself at bigger risk and you're I'm finding that there are those that have the bigger risk because they are the type like myself where you know if there's nothing wrong I don't have to go see a doctor I don't have to uh, you know I'm gonna have aches and pains and, and therefore but if I would make a recommendation to anybody is that get a yearly physical you know uh, check with your doctor what his recommendations are. Um, if there's one thing I would tell somebody today is that 
you know, you can, you might not be able to prevent the cancer, but you sure can make it easier on yourself to determine what those cures are, and those cures can be made because of your early detection.